Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to print a drawing with a specific scale. As an example, I will be using this site plan and I want to print it in a scale of 1 per 200. This procedure is not difficult, but it has several steps. If it looks a bit confusing for you, don't worry because after 2 or 3 times of practice you will get it. Ok, if you look in this part of the screen, you can see those tabs here. This one that says model is our current workspace. And as you know, this is where we make all the drawings. Now I am going to switch to layout 1. I click and here you can see a sheet of paper with all the drawings that I have in this file. This is the paper space for printing and it has this paper size set by default. So we may have to change it depending on the scale that we need. Ok, now I want to show you a characteristic of the layout, the viewport, which is this rectangle here. This is like a portal which displays the area that I will print. For example, I will click on the viewport, then I select this point on the corner and I move it a little bit to this way. As you see, the viewport became smaller and also this part of the drawing is now hidden and will not be in the printing. Ok, in the paper space we have two different modes. Paper, which is the current one, and model. When we have the paper active and I scroll with the mouse wheel, I do zoom in all my workspace. Also, if I hold the wheel to use the pan, I can move all the paper around. I'm going to switch to the model by double clicking inside the viewport or clicking in this button here. So, if I move and zoom, we'll only work inside the viewport. And the scale of printing is also changing. Now, I'm going to put the site plan in the center of the model. So, as I want to print in a scale of 1 per 200, I will click in this icon to choose the scale. However, if the scale that I want is not here, I can create a new one, clicking in Custom. I will choose 1 per 200. And, as you can see, my drawing has zoomed a lot meaning that my paper is too small for this scale and I have to change it to a bigger one. To change the paper size, I go to Layout 1, right click and choose Page Setup Manager. Now I click on Modify and I'm now in the Page Setup window. Here I can choose the printer and the paper size. First, I'm going to click here to choose the printer. As I want to export as PDF, I will choose DWG to PDF. Remember that DWG is the extension for AutoCAD files. Now, in the ribbon below, I can choose the paper size. I'm going to select A1 because I already know that it will fit. But if in your case you don't know the size, you have to try different ones to find appropriate. Finally, I click in OK and then close. As you can see, I have now a much bigger paper. So what I need now is to increase the viewport and fit the drawing. I click in the corner and drag it to the other side. As I am in the paper mode, I double click inside to switch it to the model so that I can drag the drawing to fit it in the center. Ok, so you may notice that this part is not fitting, so I have to increase the viewport a bit. Ok, I have increased my viewport. However, if I print now, the border will also appear in the drawing. So, if I don't want it there, there are two options. I can drag the viewport to outside of the paper or I can create a special layer for a viewport and then freeze it. I will show you the second option. I will open the layers window. I right click inside the window and select new layer. I name it as viewport for example. Then I select the viewport and click here to change the layer to viewport. Finally, I click again in the same ribbon and click in this icon to freeze it. Ok, now I cannot see the viewport. If 
Finally, I'm ready to print, but before, it's important to confirm that my scale is correct. I switch again to model, and we can confirm the scale of 1 per 200. To print, I go to Layout 1 tab, right click, and choose Plot. Once I have my printer selected, I can click in OK. Now save. And here is my drawing in PDF with the scale of 1 per 200. So this is all from my side. If you enjoyed this tutorial, subscribe to watch more videos and get notified of new updates. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon.